no speaking. Cause I've been running through I've been through shit. I don't like how you move. Been bitch on my dick, she keep trying to do. I won't get last shit down, you don't got you. I won't get last shit down, you don't got you. Do that down to the ground, where the fuck is you doing? I'm swinging that pee. Block about swinging that pee, this shit loud as a nigga. Welcome to the Suki Tribe. Hit that button that say subscribe and join the ride. You feel me? Chat, I ain't really lie. It's been a minute since I posted some Xenoverse 2 content on the channel. Even if it's mods, bro. I ain't really lie. I'm pretty sure you guys already heard about the new trailer of Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta from Dragon Ball Diamond. Uh, DLC almost coming out very soon. So let me know what y'all guys think about that in the comments below. So for those of y'all who stuck around the channel, I'm pretty sure y'all remember back in 2021, I made a video called How to Make, How to use the universe 2 save editor and i ain't really lie that video did so good bro like, i'm pretty sure the video's already at 41 thousand views i already i still get hella comments still to this day i actually got a comment like two days ago on that video but that video was for 2021 and i'm pretty sure it's outdated as time passes the save editor gets outdated so, you know, there's a lot of things that you gotta look over. So this is 2025 version, new version. So hopefully this can help you guys out, those of y'all who watch it. So what y'all already do, right? Now, if you guys have Steam, right? Go to file, click on open, go to where it says Windows, go to program files, X8, then scroll down and go all the way to Steam. Then go to, damn, where is it? Where is it, where is it? User data, then go to these numbers. Then go to where it says three, Remote Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and then click on the save here. Now, I don't know if that's what it's gonna look like for you guys, but for those of y'all who have it on somewhere else, I'm gonna put it on. Um, I forgot what this other app is called, but if you guys have it on that, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it up right now. And now let's get into the basics. So you guys should see your CAC's name, race, voice, height, body height. Don't worry about this shit right here. You should see your stats. Now, equal stats, right? 100 for HP, 100 for key, and 100 for stamina. And then the rest is just like between 40 and 42. Now, you guys gotta make sure, if it says yes, then you guys gotta make sure to look down here. If it says yes, then that means it's gonna look right. But if you put all of them, let's say you put all of them 100, you see how it says no, three attribute points. The attribute points, whatever numbers you guys put, the attribute points had to be zero by the time you're done putting all of them. Otherwise, it's not going to work in the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you guys can set your level however high you want it to be. So, like, what is the recent update? You know what? Oh, okay. I can just leave my shit like this. But I'm going to just leave it at 120 for now. I don't want to fuck up uh, some shit. So, now you guys had the skills. So, you guys got to look down here. Look down here and see where it says skill. So you see where it has this, uh, I forgot what it's called. Skill is not normally used for CACs. A good example of a skill like that, that has that is this version of Hawk Charge, which is from Superhero Gohan. You know, the one that he has where he got the extra inputs. It's different from the original Hawk Charge that you get from Videl. This one right here is a mod. Skill is a mod. And a good example of this is right here, Celestial Rampage, which I'm gonna show you guys later in the game, if I even manage to do that now that there are some mods there are some modded skills that have both of these at the exact same time i don't know if i have one i don't know if i have one right now at the moment but whenever you guys see a mod whenever you guys see have a modded skill that has both of these at the same time just know it usually just means you can't use it for cacs now if the skill is a mod and if it just has the plus you can literally go to the skill shop in the game and buy that bitch but we're gonna get to that later and over here you guys have the clothes and shit now certain clothes certain clothes are not for cacs and the same goes for accessories too and also super souls i have my modded super soul right here so you guys can choose whichever super soul that you want to check and you can even even modern super souls you can put on there too now over here is qq bangs now the last one of the previous updates in the past they added level five qq bangs so you guys can put it all at five and it's going to be beneficial you can leave it nipped leave it equipped too and over here is presets you guys can do whatever the fuck you want with the presets too now let's go to mentors so my mentor is beers and you have beginner, intermediate, advanced, Kai, God, and super. Honestly, you guys can just choose where, wherever the fuck you want. Experience, I don't know what that is for. Now, customization, this is for characters who, if you have a custom character of that, let's say like Goku. All customizations of Goku are the Santa Claus, the one where he has the, the jungle, the jungle shit, I forgot what that one was called. And then there's the one with uh, Ender Zeef and unlock special costumes. It's, it's the, kind of the same thing. Actually, no, all the stuff I said about all customization goes for this one right here. All customization means all the characters. So like 
there's customizations of all of these characters right here Krillin, Cien, Yancho, Piccolo, Raditz, Gohan, Nappa, Vegeta, and so on and so forth. Singles for here. Now, I don't know if it does for the keys. I don't think it does. And then the, this over here, this one right here fits for. Um, you guys know when you go in your settings and then the play data and it shows all these characters that you was doing mentor with So you guys can set it to max all if you want Do whatever the fuck you want. None of that shit really matters over here is um, All the mentors and all the stuff that you got to do with them You know how you get all the skills from these guys and shit and then you can just got a lock all and then max all, max score all, and then Z rank all. now I ain't really lie bro um i didn't really do any of these the first time i did it so you guys don't really have to worry about this shit unless you really want um some one of your mentors to be maxed for something over here is customization customization is for any of the customization mentors that you have including the key characters so you guys can see we have gt goku mega shinron buhan jiren kefla god goku super saiyan 4 uh, gogeta god vegeta super baby 2 and base form goku black so we have all the mentors including the keys and you guys can give them whichever skills now remember so certain skills you know how it says it's not for cacs some of those actually fits for some of these custom characters and some of the other characters for the game that you can't really um edit and then you have the super skills that you can give them now quest so you guys have to read this read this before doing anything read this before doing anything on quest so we're gonna click okay now you guys have to be careful so this part right here you shouldn't really be touching at all but let me tell you something do not touch this in a save editor unless you have done the first part of the story mode so let me give you you guys know the first time when you first hop in the story mode you guys had to fight against raditz do not touch this part of the story mode unless you have gotten to that part i think it's this one right here so if you guys have done that part in the story mode then you can come to this part of the quest Otherwise, don't even bother. Don't, don't even bother. That's what I recommend. Though. And then um, everything else you can just do max off. You don't want to really feel like that. Then you have infinite story. I think this is all the DLCs. Then you have quest. So you guys can just, you guys can just like, unlike what I said with Time Patrol, the story mission, you guys can just unlock all, max all, and Z rank all. Allow modded. You guys can read, you can ask read that right here. You know, pause the video. Time Rift is all those like side side missions, so like Guru and all that stuff. Then you have extra missions. You guys can just literally unlock all, max all, and Z. The same goes for raids, singles for Elder Kai, the same goes for Frieza C, and the same goes for Crystal Raids too. Honestly, most of these I didn't really even do. So you guys can just now play data. Now let's go all the way to inventory. So you have upper body, you have all these clothes. The top shirts like all this stuff the crop tops the top shirts you know the the stuff you need to do to cover your upper body and shit <laughs> um then you have add new so you guys can choose whichever whichever top clothing that you want you fuck with and you can add that certain amount the quantity now the max quantity you can add is 99 in this game and the same goes for at all as well so you can just add 99 of all these other clothes the same goes for upper body same rules apply same goes for gloves Singles for shoes, singles for accessories, and the singles for super souls, especially the modern super souls that you guys can have. And the singles for the mixing items, like you ever, you guys ever go to the mixing shop or the item shop, and you can just get whichever the fuck you want. Like you even got, you can even get the gifts too, and the demon Rune crystals too. And you can just add whichever you want. They got all the roster, the whole list down here. You can just add whichever you want. Blah blah blah. You got the items. Items, important items such as the distorted time eggs, the keys, and I think the dragon balls too. You can add the, whichever the dragon balls which you want. Capsules come over here. All the capsules that you need and you want are all over here. You got the sensu beans too. Where is it? You got the sensu essence caps. Then you got all the artwork. You can select all the one. Unlock all this art here. Mascots, unlock all is right here. And then QQ bangs. Now you can make whichever QQ bang that you want. Whatever QQ bang you make, you can just it'll be left here. Now I only have one because this is the only top that I want with the all five. And then the last one right here is battle items. So this is where you can just, if you don't want to hop in the game and do it, you can just select whichever items that you want to use for in battle. So that if you feel like you're in a near death experience, you can pop out the capsules and all that shit. Now, the skills. This is the best part of the video. Now, the best part about this is that not only can you choose skills that you find impossible to get like dlc skills and shit you can also unlock whichever modest skill that you ever want to pick a good example is counter attack so this one right here 
I guarantee you I'll hop in the game and I can have this shit right now. Now, speaking of DLC skills, you gotta remember, remember earlier the skills that have this multiplication shit right here. Those are skills that you cannot have on your um, CAC. You cannot equip on your CAC because they're strictly for the character that got in the game. So like these characters, these moves right here are strictly for the Super Saiyan God Vegeta DLC character. So you can't, even if you click on lock all, and these three will be selected on lock, you can't have them for your um, your CAC. Especially because we already have the CAC version of these skills. But that same rule applies for Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta's um, skills. So like we got Final Charge, Atomic Blast, Final Blue, and even Final Flash. Now the reason why this one right here is because I have a mod installed where you can select certain skills that you can't have for CACs to be unlocked for CACs. But that that that's a, that's a whole different story. I do remember in the last in the last um previous version of this save editor tutorial i said something about if you unlock dlc skills from dlc that you don't have it's gonna fuck up your game at the time it was true but nowadays it's not so you guys can just unlock all and it won't even crash the game you just won't get the, uh, the certain skills that have this shit right here just don't fuck up the game that's all i recommend the same goes for ultimates evasives and even awoken skills hero coliseum um let's be real no nobody even does this shit <laughs> <laughs> lastly you got Xenoverse 1 hero. Now, you guys know when you hop in Kansan City, right? And you you look in the center, you see this big, this big hologram looking at CAC. That's the hero. So you can choose whichever hero. Ace is the most iconic, but I just chose the hero we. Now, over here is Zenny and TP. So the max for both of these is just type all nine. You know what I'm saying? Just all nine. Let me show you. Yeah, the same. It's just all nine for both of these shit. You can set it down. You can set it low. So we're done with all of these, right? So one more thing I do want to mention. So last in the previous save editor tutorial, right? You over said I said quest. You guys remember we clicked on quest and something popped up and shit. So you says go over the tool and click on validate flags now i do remember you guys got to click on this stuff right here but remember all the stuff that i told you before only touch up on the quest in the save editor if you've done the first part of the story mode this this one right here only do that because if you do that it might possibly mess up your game so you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to ruin it either. so you guys don't want don't got to worry about the validate flags this time so once you're done you can go to file click save as you guys can see in the top right corner, you guys can see my Zenny is max. And the same goes for my TP medals. I don't even know how the fuck that shit got higher. Let me show y'all the skills. So you guys should be able to, whatever skills that you guys did a lot. So Remember, I'm currently at level 120. So my attributes will not really look like this after this recording. <laughs> after this recording, I'm ready to change. Let's get into the custom characters. So let you see how I got Goku, we got Krillin, Tien, Yamcha, Piccolo, Uranus, Gohan. We got all these niggas. You even got some of the keys. I even got some of the key characters. I got Baby, Dabjia, Gojira, Guy Goku, Kefla, Jiren, Gohan, Omega Goku, and Goku, even Goku, and Never, and TV 17 and take on two and so on and so forth i don't have all the keys so you already know what's up lastly i'm gonna show y'all the quest as you guys can see on the corner side they're all clear and yeah the last thing i do want to mention before i end this video so i do remember in the previous save editor tutorial there were some people in the comments saying despite them having the keys in their inventory they couldn't access the key characters and i think i might know the reason why let me tell y'all before they dropped the supreme kai time update in 2021 or 22 i don't remember modders were going all around online going cruddy and crazy. Whether it was quests or whether it was online battles, we had modern spamming shit like gigantic key blast, marble and drop, pillar storm, and even moves that you can't even get for CACs. But then when the patch came out for the Supreme Kai Time update, developers made it the patch to the point where if you have a modded save, you can't even access key characters even though you can have all the keys. And I think that kind of affected Xenoverse PC, the PC uh, community as well. But um, just not as much as they did for the console modders. So, but hopefully this time around it should be fixed. I'm pretty sure, and even if it's not fixed, there is a PC mod that can allow you to unlock all the keys, which gives you access to unlocking all the key custom characters. So if I find it, I'll put the link in the description or in the comment section, but hopefully y'all enjoyed. I'll catch y'all later.